Home Designs AI is one of the OG interior design AI software platforms, and it's been improving month after month after month. I've been trying it every few months. This is my first time I'm doing a video on it, and I will step you through most of the features. And this software has a very slick backend. It does some things really well, and it does some things not so great. Let's go through it. Uh, this is this is one of those software tools that realtors could use, interior designers could use, and just regular homeowners because it has a lot of cool, fun, uh, experimental features that homeowners could get a lot of use out of. So it has a very, very broad uh, potential user base, which, which is good, but some of the things it doesn't do very well, and so we're going to step through that. Uh, before I get through the demos, the pricing is a little different for this than others. So your standard set will be a monthly package. If you want the premium add-on, you pay a one-time fee. I paid $47. If you want the business add-on, it's an additional $97, which I did not pay for. And it offers uh, a bunch of more advanced tools. I didn't really need them. I may get it if I want to demo some of it. I am tempted to see what the virtual staging looks like. But for now, I will save my 97 bucks. Okay, most uh, a lot of the work is done in the redesign section, hence it's first. What I like about it is the organization. So for all my redesign efforts, they're all down here. Here's all my renderings. Okay, for the sky coloring, they're all down here. So that's how it's organized. It's not just all thrown into one big backend. So that's pretty nice. It's pretty easy to find it. So for the redesign, it does not show me the original that I use. It shows me the resulting rendering. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step you through a bunch that I did so you don't have to wait around. And some are were empty rooms and some were furnished rooms. The empty rooms did not work out very well. This was the original. This is what it did. Now I was hoping it would furnish it. Now I suspect that that's the business level where I got pony up another $97.00 and then I could do virtual staging and it will add furniture in there. So uh, not terribly useful for this, although I must say uh, it does give you some idea. Now this is this is weird, of course, the whole that didn't work out. But the other one did and I thought it did a pretty good job here. It did a different type of built in, which actually is a nice improvement. So so in a sense of giving some new floor and wall ideas, I thought this was pretty slick, but without the furniture, we're not getting the full big picture. Now, here's an example of where I uploaded this image. Was the, This is the original. You can see it doesn't do a radical job, but you, you can adjust how much it will be creative. Okay, so this was, as I'll, I'll do some actual demos from uploading an image, and you can see the options. But you can see here, um, it did a nice job keeping the doorway there and not really changing the structural aspect of the home. And the reason it did that is you have an option to change structural aspects or not. And, and that's a nice feature to add. I really like that. I think on the balance, it did a pretty nice job. It's a very nuanced change, but it is, it is pretty good. You can see it sort of went more traditional. I think I selected transitional for that. Okay, so let's let's do a demo. No, and I'll, I'll show you this because this did not work out. This was the original, which was a kitchen, and then it did all this, which was complete structural change. It's not really a kitchen anymore, so that didn't work out. That's the nature of AI these days. Sometimes the designs are great, and sometimes they're not so great. So let's uh, let's throw this in. This is furnished, uh, as I mentioned. It doesn't do empty rooms very well for this. So here's our settings. We want to choose uh, an interior. This is a living room. And then we could choose our style. Let's go with transitional just because it's there. We've got perfect redesign. We've got beautiful redesign. We've got creative redesign. And I want to try a creative redesign. Now, here's, here's a nice feature. Keep structural elements. Check. We'll keep them in for this one. So it's not going to move walls around or anything like that. And then here is the amount of we can, you know, make changes to it. Let's let's go fairly aggressive and we'll do one image. There we go. I'm going to let this run so you get an idea of how fast this is. This is I would say this is of a moderate speed for the rendering. Uh, you know, I, I do like software to take their time because it typically means they, they do a better job, but some are really long. And as you see, this one went pretty fast. Okay, now, now here's another really nice feature. I love this 
this toggle or this slider. Okay, here's the original. Here's the change. Now you can see it did it did add a structural change. It changed that wall there, so that's not very good. I would say it's a nice improvement. Different floor, different rug, different sofa. It gives you a good idea. So this software is a pretty good mix of the ability to add your own inputs versus not. Now, I did the next tool I will jump into while I'm talking about your own inputs is text to design. This was very disappointing. Okay, text to design is I can put in a prompt from scratch and I can design a room from scratch. Now, here is the room I did. This was from scratch. I asked it to create a farmhouse style living room with one sofa and three armchairs, a coffee table, and a sofa console table. Okay, this is what it came up with. This is terrible. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Uh, this is a room that would need to be completely uh, gutted and redone. So this is not a good design. Now let's compare it with one of my all-time favorite interior design software, and that's Ideogram. Okay, this is this is great from scratch. This is ideally from scratch. Yes, you can edit and do remix images. I've never had a great success with that. But from scratch, this is great. Here's the exact prompt I used, farmhouse style living room. That was, I used it for both here and uh, Home Designs AI, and that was it. And here are the results, and it just does a much nicer job. I mean, that's that's akin to something that I would hope to get. We've got all of these, and it, and it changes them, but doesn't change it so much. Kind of sticks generally to the farmhouse look, all right? So I did three different uh, basically like generate three different options. So it did it three times. Okay. So ideogram from scratch is superior, but that doesn't make home designs AI completely useless at all. It has some really nice features. This one is particularly good and I could see realtors would, uh, like this. And the reason is, is it changes the sky. So if you end up taking photos on a, on a bad day like that, you make it better. Here's the issue. This looks a little fake, like a big sun with rays like that. It's, it's not ringing super true. And then we have our twilight. And again, it's a little bit dramatic. I would probably dial back the AI a little bit just so, because this just does not look realistic, but it does look better than this. All right, the other uh, ones I want to check out are the exterior. And I like that it does exterior. Now, this was an interesting one. This is one where I took this house and I, did, I didn't I did check the box to keep the structural the same. So it made massive, basically it's a whole new house. It's not very helpful. But I thought this was particularly good. Okay, this is where I kept the uh, structural basically the same. And look at this, it's like identical. It's just a new roof and a whole new exterior. And it's a huge improvement, IMO. And I thought this software did a really nice job on the exterior. Now, how about the garden? The garden was mixed results uh, for this particular one. This is the yard. And here we go. Okay, this just doesn't even look like, it just looks fake. Now, we did another one somewhere. I think it was a redesign. Well, we'll find it. Um, colors, textures. This was interesting, okay? This was a big success, actually. I thought this software did a really nice job. I just uploaded the original. And then all I did was mask, or I basically selected the sofas, and I chose a burgundy, and it changed the color. And I thought it did a really nice job with that. It gives you a really good sense of what that color will look like in the room. And this this is huge. This is a, this is a really nice feature for a lot of homeowners because you're shopping and you've got your room and you don't want to make any changes except for some furniture. So this this is a great feature for homeowners. Okay, moving on down to this uh, feature is Precision Plus, and that makes focus changes to area specific areas while keeping everything else intact. I thought this did a very nice job. I did this on the garden, and here's one example. 
added a deck. Now, uh, it, it looks good. I mean, <laughs> we don't have a door there, right? Um, it, it needs a lot of work. Here's the thing. I masked like most of the yard and I said, add an amazing large deck. And that's what it did. So I was able to add my own prompt to this as well. So it, it kind of did a good job and it kind of didn't do a good job. And then there was this one. And again, I, I basically masked the corner here and asked to input a flower garden and it basically redid the whole yard. So I actually like the design it came up with. It's a much improved yard, but it wasn't exactly what I prompted. So um, it'd say partial success there. Now I want to move on to the design critique. This was interesting. I uploaded a room. Now I did do it. It's gone. All right. We will have to redo that. It's an interior we want. So it's spinning. Now this takes a while, so I'll let this spin. The last, oh, there we go. Okay, so here's the image feedback. Color balance, wall art. It's pretty standard stuff. Let's add a sofa throw, softer throw, lighting, plants. Nothing earth shattering there in my view, but if you're looking for ideas, you might find it helpful. Now, I did not upgrade to the business, so I don't have the virtual staging. I may do that in another video because virtual staging is a huge use for AI. That is a wrap on pretty much everything I've done with here. Let's do one from scratch. And I want to do this again, but this time, this dining room, I'm going to, we're going to go all here. It's a dining room. We're going to select a different style. We're going to go quiet luxury. We're going to go beautiful redesign. We're going to keep the structural elements. We're going to go extreme intervention, and then we're going to let it rip. So I'll just let it go here. I, I am impressed by how fast the software actually renders uh, various images and designs. Um, it's much faster than a lot out there, uh, although it's hard to beat ideogram. You know, if, if there's anything that you just want to be able to like get ideas from scratch for the money, it, you can't go wrong with ideogram, frankly. Um, okay, let, here we go. We've got a result. There's the original. Now we didn't ask it to change. No, I think we didn't check the box. So it did structural changes because that is a serious change in design. Let's do it again with keeping structural elements. Here we go. This is a fun software to use because of all the features. It's just some of the design, as you've noticed, just look really kind of fake still. And that's a serious problem with it. Uh, this, this was really well done. Now, of course, the issue is it's a nice dining room to start with. <laughs> Right? Like few people would renovate that. But this is interesting. Even the light is a similar design. I would say this is nicer on the bounce. I mean, the table looks fake. Look how thin that is. That's still some of the little hiccups with AI interior design right now. There's just little weird things. But, you know, the chair legs are really good. I mean, in the early days of AI interior design, you'd have chairs with three legs or five legs and that sort of thing. It just wasn't quite up to speed to be workable, but this is turning into workable and it's now spitting out designs. Pretty much any of the platforms out there are spitting out quality of designs or something that you could actually work from that. You could, you could get great design ideas. And don't, don't forget this little nifty trick, right? I should show this in every video. Let's say you want this chair. You take a screenshot of that, and then we go to 
Google Lens. And we put that there. Let's see what we find. Look, we've got a chair. It looks pretty darn close to that. Look at that. It's only 683 bucks. But that is a super fun feature with Google to find furniture. And with AI, it's great. You can get a lot of ideas and actually go find your furniture. That's a wrap on Home Designs AI. You get a sense of uh, the features, the quality, what I like, what I don't like about it. Uh, the money, I think it was uh, $29 a month I got for the Pro for this, for just the standard tools. Um, that's, that's pretty much in line with what most of the others are charging and what you get. Uh, again, if you're a professional that uses this for listings, then this is going to be well worth it. If you're a homeowner, pay for one month, play around with it, get a bunch of ideas, and you can always cancel. Thanks for watching.